Good evening, everyone. I'm Sissy Siegel Davis, and on behalf of the Miller Theater Advisory Board, welcome to Miller Outdoor Theater's virtual series, Dream Streams, presented by HEB. We have missed seeing you this year. When we made the decision last March to delay opening the 2020 season, we never imagined that March would stretch into November. It's been a very long intermission. Even though we cannot all be together at our beloved Miller Theater, we are so pleased that we can bring a taste of Miller to you virtually. Between now and November 28th, you can enjoy a variety of diverse performances representative of the outstanding productions that make Miller so special. Visit MillerOutdoorTheater.com for details. We thank the performing arts and community organizations that have partnered with us to make these virtual performances possible. And we thank HEB for their generous support of our digital broadcasts. All performances at Miller are funded in part by the City of Houston through the Houston Arts Alliance. This extended intermission will end, and we will return to Miller once more. It will be wonderful to see you and to hear the laughter and the applause. It won't be just another opening. It will be a long-awaited opportunity to share great performances and make more treasured memories at Miller Outdoor Theater. The many actors, musicians, dancers, artists and artisans, directors, conductors and choreographers, technical and design staff, ushers, security personnel, concessions workers and custodians, the Miller crew, and the advisory board staff. We all look forward to the Miller magic that is to come in 2021. Until we are together again, enjoy this Dream Streams performance. Good evening. I'm Daniel Musher, founding concertmaster and proud president of the Texas Medical Center Orchestra. Members of TMCO, not of course our full orchestra because of COVID, are delighted to join tonight with Houston composer and singer Michael Gott to present a program called Love Can Move the World. Established in 2000 by artistic director and conductor Libby LaBelle, TMCO is made up largely of members of the healthcare professions. The threefold mission of the orchestra is to provide healthcare professionals with an outlet for creative expression and relief from the stress of our medical work, and goodness knows this has been a stressful year to perform for diverse audiences at affordable concerts that are open to the public in accessible venues, and to bring public attention to and provide programmatic support for medically related and or educational charities. Recognized as one of the finest community orchestras in the nation, Texas Medical Center Orchestra has won first or second place in the America Prize competition for Best Community Orchestra three of the last four years. This winter, TMCO provided most of the musicians for the Diane Warren video, a global effort called I'm Standing With You that raised more than $7 million for the United Nations COVID Relief Fund. 
We also help support the Multiple Sclerosis Society, the Food Bank, and charities that help immigrants from Latin America, Asia, and Africa. Michael Gott is a major asset in Houston's musical scene. He is broadly talented and widely recognized for performances of works that he himself composes. His songs convey messages of peace and hope, and we are honored to perform with him tonight. TMCO is grateful to Miller Theater Advisory Board, the City of Houston, and Texas Children's Hospital for their support. In a year that has been so stressful, we hope that you will find a sense of healing and peace as we present members of the Texas Medical Center Orchestra and Michael Gott in Love Can Move the World. There's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Thank you. 
So delighted to be performing with this wonderful orchestra. Um, Dr. Musher um, mentioned that we'll be doing a lot of my own songs, but not that one. That was obviously John Lennon, and not this one. This is a beautiful song by David Wilcox. The, the metaphor that what if everything we're experiencing here is an opportunity for us to reveal the love that is within us. This is called Show the Way. <laughs> You say you see no hope. You say you see no reason we should dream that the world will ever change. You're saying love is foolish to believe, cause there'll always be some crazy with an army or a knife to wake you from your daydream. Put the fear back in your life. Look, if someone wrote a play just to glorify what's stronger than hate, would they not arrange the stage to look as if the hero came too late? He's almost in defeat, looking like the evil side will win when on the edge of every sea. From the moment that the whole thing begins It is love who makes the mortar And it's love who stacked these stones And it's love who made the stage here Though it looks like we're alone In this sea set in shadow Like the night is here to stay There may be evil cast around us it's love that wrote the play And in this darkness Love will show the way So now the stage is set Feel your own heart beating in your chest this life's not over yet So we get up on our feet and do our best We play against the fear We play against the reasons not to try We're playing for the tears Burning in the happy angel's eyes For it's love who makes the mortar And it's love who stacked these stones it's love who made the stage here Though it looks like we're alone In this scene set in shadow Like the night is here to stay There is evil cast around us But it's love that wrote the play around us but it's love love 
that role to play and in this darkness love will show the way This next piece is one that I was commissioned to write years ago for an urban development project in Dallas. And um, there was a children's art competition that went along with it. And they were asked to create pictures of the, the life they wanted to live, the world they wanted to live in. And that's what inspired this song called Building Their World. <laughs> children know without knowing all the hows and whys there's a wisdom in their eyes the children see the world that we had ought to be do we the legacy we leave when we are gone. We are building the world with heart and dreams and stone, choosing them our very best for the world they'll call their own. We are building their tomorrow Nothing greater could we give than a better place to grow and learn and live. Children have a wisdom, it's a wisdom of the heart. They know the way that home is supposed to feel.
as we were selecting the songs for the program, it became clear to me that there were um, two levels that these songs are speaking. One, one is to the individual, that each of us has the, the creative possibility to live our dreams and to, to be who we're meant to be. And then there's also the collective, how we are doing this together and the responsibility we share for our world. This song really it captures both of those ideas. This is called Heart of the World.
Music is a beautiful metaphor. Not only is it a beautiful thing, but if we can imagine that each of us has a song in our heart to sing to the world. next song for this evening's concert Music is was a, beautiful um, a big, big project. I was so delighted and honored that Libby invited me to be a part of it along with this incredible group of musicians. It's, a, as a Dr. Musher mentioned, this was a fundraiser for the United Nations COVID Fund and very successful and just incredibly powerful. And how wonderful to have you guys um, as medical professionals in this incredibly important song about how we are to stand for each other. It was really a special collaboration. You know, it started with a small idea. I got a call from 
uh, songwriter and arranger uh, Sharon Farber, and um, she was teaming up with uh, movie director Gev Byron and uh, songwriter Diane Warren in this incredible song. And I thought it was a great opportunity for us. We were just about to end our 20th season when all of this has happened, and I thought that I couldn't have asked for a more meaningful way to end our 20th season this way. We all had to videotape our parts at home, as well as myself, and um, uh, the song involved 170 musicians from all over the world. We had a gospel choir, uh, key singers from each country in the world, and the movie is just absolutely amazing. It really captures that emptiness that we have all experienced. And um, I found it very moving. You know, when I saw it, when it premiered, I just couldn't believe how beautiful it was, and I am so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much, Diane Warren, Sharon Farber, and Gav Myron for giving us, all of us. And you know, when Sharon called me and asked me, who do I know that would be perfect for this? I immediately thought about you, Michael. You. I thought that you would be just absolutely perfect because when I heard you first, I just loved your voice. I'm so, so honored, thank so you. So grateful that we were able to be part of this. Me too. to hurt alone when your faith is faith is running low i'll never lose faith in you when the night surrounds you and you think that no one cares about you i'll be sending love and prayers to guide you i'll be there through And when you feel like all the odds are all against you And you just feel like giving up, well I won't let you Whatever you go through I'm standing with you I'm standing with you
against you. Amazing, you will do amazing. 
amazing you will do amazing This next song is written by um, Los Angeles singer-songwriter Derek Rydall, and it's uh, based upon the quote from Walden by Henry David Thoreau, that if one advances confidently in the direction of one's dreams, he will be met by success unknown in common hours. you owe it to yourself to look inside of you and take the time to realize what you are here to do don't you think the time has finally come to stand and face the fire to walk into the blazing sun and claim your heart's desire you were placed upon this earth with a mission to complete and now the time has come so stand up strong and claim your destiny you must move in the direction of your dreams and act as if that you're not good enough to be a shining star or do you think because the road looks tough that you won't get that far do you believe only some are great and others left for chance or maybe that it's just too late a futile circumstance no you were placed upon this earth with a mission to complete. Now the time has come, so stand up strong, claim your destiny. You must move in the direction of your dreams and act as if all around you and the clouds of doubt are darkening your day well just be still and know that there's something deep within you that will
Our next song is also inspired by a quote, co-written by my friend Karen Drucker and myself. Um, the quote is by Luciano de Crescenza, that we are all of us angels, but only have one wing, and we can only fly by holding on to each other. I want to take a moment to thank Miller Outdoor Theater in the city of Houston for supporting artists in this uh, very difficult time, particularly on artists and art institutions. So thank you so much. You are our angel. Did you know there are angels in our midst? Can you feel them? Do you hear them? They're all around with us every day. Do you see them? Or do you look the other way? It's that man you forgot to kiss as you hurried out the door that stranger who said hello you chose to ignore they are angels we are angels we are all angels we only have one wing Searching for each other We are all angels Who cannot reach the sky Because we need each other to fly but Life gets busy The days go by so fast We rush through our hurried days Never make a moment last If we stop and take the time To look around and see There are sweet, sweet angels Smiling back at me Anywhere, anytime
is waiting for my courage. The one I want, the one I will become, will catch me. So let me fall, if I must fall, I won't heed your warnings. I won't heed. Before we perform our last song, we would like to thank those who made this evening very special. We would like to thank HEB for sponsoring this evening and the city of Houston for making this possible. We would also like to thank the Miller Outdoor Theater, the backstage crew, the lighting crew, and the wonderful video crew that is filming here right now. You've guys done an amazing, amazing job. Thank you, and thank you for all the times that you have worked with us. I'd like to thank our TMCO board and my TMCO family members. I love you. It's been wonderful making live music again. Thank you to our future soloist, Michael Gott. Michael, you're just amazing. For the moment that I heard your voice, I just, I was, so amazed by your talent. You're just amazing. And your songs just reached my heart immediately. 
I just, I never forget the first day when Jackie Hall called and she says, you have to hear him. And I kept listening to her songs again and again. And that was my proof that I was sold. I knew that I wanted to meet you and I knew that I wanted to collaborate in some way and form one day in the future. Thank you for all your effort and for all your love. We, we really appreciate. Thank you. And lastly, I would like to thank all of you for tuning in this evening. I hope that this was just the right medicine for you and that you loved this concert, these beautiful candles, and that your heart is feeling filled with love. We would like to invite you to follow us on all our social media platforms, watch our other amazing concerts on YouTube, and plan to attend our other concerts. Our orchestra is amazing. They are just the right medicine for any occasion. Our last song, Love Can Move the World, says it all. In today's time, when there's so much uncertainty in this world, loving thy neighbor is the only way to unite the world and have everlasting peace. From our TMCO family to you, we wish you love and peace. Just one life, that's all that we've been given here. Just one chance to make a difference where we live. I'm just one man, I'm only human. With only human beings, I've got a lot to give. Thank you.